Welcome, collective. Welcome on in. Uh, we're going to prepare to do the collective reading for Sunday, January the 14th through Friday, January the 20th, okay? So right now, we're just preparing to do this collective, okay? All right. This is going to be the, for the collective energy. Take what resonates, leave what does not, okay? So this is going to be a collective reading. That's pretty cool. <laughs> All right. Collective energy, January the 14th through January the 20th for the collective, okay? So what I'm feeling for the collective during this energy is just letting you know how much of a, a powerhouse, a reminder of the powerhouse that you truly are okay a reminder of the anointing and recognizing that although you have this anointing this this fire being mindful of the energy that you put like the intentions um, I feel like a lot of beings um, are embodying a different magnitude of constructing, right? Constructing. We have peace here. And <laughs> this seduction energy is very, has been very strong for the collective, okay? Um, the seduction is also known as like the devil energy, which is understanding the control that you have the power all right and also what means the world to us for real what is it that we truly want to to leave as our our message what type of messages are we truly um giving and who truly are we honoring when we honor ourselves like in what manner is it egotistical? Is it of the most high Christ energy? Is it worldly energy? Like what? what is it? Something has to suffice when we are binding and bound to certain things. And I feel like spirit is awakening us and reawakening us to um, something more than ourselves. And I feel a lot of times we've confined our abilities to... Um, constructs that is outside of ourselves and there's this inner being that is wanting to be free and, re and released from the entrapments and confinements of the world confinements of you know being able to be themselves without judgment judgment free um and just allowing their that inner beast is coming to claim its position in place. All right. And this inner light inside of us that is that knows no bounds, knows no any nothing, no form of limitation. All it knows is its power without the 
conformities of man, of judgments, of restrictions, and the power that we have inside of us, okay? And I'm loving this for the collective because I feel a lot of people are going to be opening up. A lot of people are going to be um, not worrying about how they how they see themselves, making peace with things that would have held them back when it came to expression, when it came to um, anything that they do is going to come from a more free, like a more place of freedom, like a place of um, truth, undeniable truth, undeniable genuineness, uniqueness, um, this things that are going to be coming from places that were once forbidden. You know, you're going to be able to enjoy those depths of, um, of freedom, of joy, love, happiness, beyond peace, self-love, self-care, um, and recognizing how the conformities of others and how you allowed yourself to once um, create yourself. Like, you know, I feel like a lot of the um, creativity, a lot of things that were for the individual collective or collectives that are resonating with this, like those ideas are going to be coming into for fruition. You're going to be putting things into a formation that works for you, that is going to bring things to the forefront, that's going to come out of hiding, that's going to allow yourself to be in a position where you are um, just fearless, courageous, brave, not giving a rat's ass foot tail about anything that is going to um, make you feel defined. Because I feel like definitions and, and titles is, is creating some form of confinement that you're breaking free from that you no longer want to exist in. And the realm is just, you know, dissipating. Like it's, 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 re it's not real anymore. Those constructs, certain constructs are, are coming, are becoming unreal. Okay, it's becoming unreal because you're allowing yourself to be free. You're allowing yourself to just to, to be able to to love the way that you want to love, to exist the way that you want to exist, to to be peace in the way that you choose to be peace. Like what it, what it means to you, what it means for you. Let's get another some more messages here. All right, so transformation. You have the change and also the community. And I love that because it's like the community, the hood love is not going to be, you know, keeping you in certain um, inhibitions. You're going to be able to express and get out of this confinement in, by any means necessary. You're going to make this change, this positive change, this change that's going to be uplift, uplifting. You're going to um, be able to be uplifted in reaching places that you... I feel like you may not have feel like you were able to, of course, I, you know, no, you were not able to um, exist in and reach because of these limitations, because of these um, inhibitions and situations and, and presidences that um, were keeping you from changing, from reaching certain places. And it could have just simply been the way that you viewed yourself or the way that you allow, you know, others, um, like the way that you narrated the world around you and other people's thoughts around you that didn't matter because you said of narrating other like yourself and in your freedom and your your vision your miracles and your manifestations you was you was manifesting other um thoughts of others around you because you were focusing on the judgments in the the uncertainty or the unknown of the world and putting um like labels in it and narrating it that it worked against you instead of just allowing yourself to be in control of the change that you are supposed to be creating for yourself you created um something that limited you based on what you narrated the world to be it's, you were manifesting outside of yourself and spirit is wanting you to focus on manifesting that what's within yourself at this time. Manifesting within yourself at this time is the most important thing. So that's what's going to keep you um, from 
um, that's going to keep you in alignment to getting to where you need to go, okay? So gratitude, rampage, it's already happening. So you're already in this predicament of space. So spirit is wanting you to have compassion for yourself, compassion during this journey through through this um, atmosphere of, of change, okay? And just know that you, you have a community of, of, you have a community that is, that is with you, that is supportive of you. And gratitude is going to be able to get you through this and kindness as well. Be able to channel and be able to get attuned and in tune with all that's to come. All that is for you during this time collective, okay? Make sure that you're staying in alignment. This is a time for celebration, okay? This time is going to be um, going to provide some form of justice, some form of truth, and divine alignment, okay? So make sure that you're being silenced here to be able to channel, to be able to channel, to be able to recognize this alignment and this just dis that's coming and this truth, this revelation, okay? This revelation is going to be worth celebrating. This revelation is going to be worth the the joy and the screams and the shouts. And, you know, it's not going to produce, it's not here to produce any worry, okay? It's, 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 it's the change here. Yes, things are going to be happening. You do have to provide grace at this time and being able to let go, all right? Because your, your aura is going to change. You're going to be coming from this dark place or this dark you know, this darkness to this revolution, to be able to breathe again, to be able to be free and to exist um, wholeheartedly on the journey that is predict that is that is for you because you're predicting it by manifesting it by bringing it into a flourishing for yourself. Okay, <laughs> this is a collective read for the week for the week of the 14th through the 20th for the collective. Okay. Let's see what other messages do we have for the collective during this time. How's everyone doing? If you made it this far, please show some love, subscribe. Make sure you thumbs up. Leave a comment. Let me know what you, what you think. Also, make sure you're commenting your zodiac sign. I, I, I would like to start doing some zodiac readings, but I want to see what zodiac signs is, is here. What zodiac signs do we have here? All right. This is for the collective, the 14th through the 20th. Okay, we have a start, a start fresh here. So this is a new week, of course. Fresh start, you know. Make sure that we are communicating what our desires are. Getting into an alignment for the path that is for us to be able to welcome in what it is that we are truly looking to to manifest, okay? This week is about manifestation. We have stay positive during this new, this new uh, fresh start. Stay positive about the messages and the forces that are um, with you to make sure that you are able to express yourself and be free from limitations, inhibitions, and make sure that you are um, curating and narr narrating your alignment for yourself, breaking free from narrating the confinements of others, okay? Because all you're doing is making sure that you're condemning yourself. You're condemning yourself and by confining, you know, your breath, confining your reach, okay? We also have um, Ignite Your Passion here. So, yeah, make sure you are igniting your passion um, collectives. Stay grounding. Grounding is going to be able to allow you to ignite this passion for yourself. So make sure that you are staying grounded and staying positive and optimistic. Okay, hydrated. <laughs> Any other messages? Okay, yep, there it is. We got ground yourself came out. So make sure you're staying grounded, all right? And also loosen your grip. Loosen your grip. So you have to be able to let go. You have to be able to let go to be able to um, receive this fresh start and stay grounded. You also, you have to be the bigger person. You have to be the bigger person and you have to live in your purpose. The time to live in your purpose is now. And it's time to release any form of emotional baggage and let it go came out, okay? Find a way to forgive. So... 
it's all right that you've been through the things that you had gone through, but you are not allowing yourself any longer to be confined in those um, limitations, okay? And be confined in what statistics and others say um, you're supposed to be. It's not time for that. It's time for you to be able to narrate your story and release the judgments and narrations of others because this is a time for you to be you, okay? It says here, protect your energy, Ashe. Protect your energy and get out of your own way. Get out of your own way here. It's time to ignite that passion. Protect your energy. Get out of your own way. You know, if you're allowing yourself to be confined by judgments and limitations and um, outlooks of others, then all you're doing is slowing yourself up. You're slowing yourself up. You know, you're not allowing yourself to be in a predicament in a situation and place to win. All right. So this week is about manifesting collective, having a clear vision, clear vision on what it is you desire. Where do you see yourself? Where do you want to end up? Okay. What is it that you truly want to invest in and move towards? Because that is your purpose. That's your mission. All right, it's time to ignite those miss your emissions and, and allow yourself to to let go of the um, inhibitions of others, the chase of others. What message do we have here? A win-win outcome is forecasted here. Also, we got look at the bigger picture, which is confirmed by being the bigger person. You know, being able to see outside of your you you know your the lens that others have condemned on you okay bring love into this situation as well so be grateful move in grace okay don't move sloppily <laughs> you know don't move sloppy definitely take care your commitment is being tested all right so just make sure that you are being in alignment and you're being balanced in this situation you're having a clear um clear sight on what it is that you're looking to do and when things get a bit um off balance try to get back into balance okay get back into balance with yourself you also have the end of a tough circle um the end of a tough cycle approaches here which is beautiful yes of course absolutely you and your loved ones are safe all right all will be well okay and you're very close to achieving your goals. So just stay focused, stay diligent. You, I feel like a lot of people have recognized a lot of issues that, and things of limitations. And they're going to be working on getting past that, okay? Take time to breathe. Ground yourself. It's going to be grounding is very important this week, okay? And staying in balance. Nothing is set in stone yet. So just be patient, okay? Be diligent. All will be well all will be well nothing will come of this situation so that's why balance is important okay balance is important because the way that you allow yourself to envision what's to come you know a win-win outcome is forecasted and a new cycle begins so during this time be balanced okay be able to focus on what it is you're looking to uh to call in to manifest uh, manifesting is very important. Your diligence is very important, okay? Spirit also wants you to be bold and make the first move, my love. Be bold. Make the first move. All right? That's a collective message. Let's see what Spirit can tell us for love this week. What love messages do we have for the collective this week? <laughs> okay. Is that no? Oh Lord. <laughs> Hold on, y'all. So what's going on, y'all? How y'all being? Y'all good? Everybody's good. I hope so. If you're still here, make sure you are thumbs up and and loving on this live um, on this read. Okay. For the collective, for the 14th through the 20th. So this may be a day late, okay? But 
it's all love y'all it's all love keep posting your um zodiac sign so we know what's going on so who, see what zodiac sign is really in here then we could see which uh element or zodiac we can do next we're, we're going to see i think we may start off with the elements okay this is for the collective 1111 11, an angel number came up here um it's an important number for twin flames it symbolizes the harmony and balance of soul counterparts Okay, so you all could be either in a relationship with your person or detached from your person at this current moment. Okay, so I feel like a lot of you may be feeling empty or alone. even distant from your person okay yeah the let go card came in up so sometimes it's best to let go and let the universe work things out in um divine timing so you could be away from your person or you guys could be having some form of issues and you know you could be feeling distance okay but spirit is letting you all know that all things work in divine time okay divine time is that work in your love life okay think of a special moment that brought you much joy with your partner all right so a lot of you may have to re recognize again the gratitude when it comes to love and the appreciation of having this person in your life and maybe there's things that you may not work right or things that you may be having um issues in your relationship it could be intense at the current moment but think of special things like my as far as like what brought you all together what brought you all together initially like where where did you guys um come from or start you know and also what could you do to implement those things if you may have lost a certain touch or lost um certain con your connection here synchronicity and attraction things to bring back that attraction to the relationship or bring back um the amazing moments that get you guys back into balance i feel like a lot of relationship at the current moment could be feeling out of balance and you may have to find a way to embrace and kind of come into balance or you know walking away from a situation where you feel like it's something that you are unable to get back into with the illusion card because of you know you you can't be living in the past and you need more clarity on this relationship see look at that spirit <laughs> speaking okay speaking all right rekindling bring it back that connection you know but i do feel that um there are going to be some that are rekindling and i also feel like there's some that's going to be reconsidering you know ways to get back into balance or that ways um of balancing is no longer um an act that you all can upkeep okay <laughs> because um a lot of people just want to feel connected and attracted you know, and attracted to their partner and wanting that, that connection and, you know, not being able to have that connection and recreate that bond and feeling cherished in this relationship and exploring those feelings or how to learn from them is going to continue to bring those intense feelings in this relationship. Okay. Balance is going to be needed for the collectives this week. Okay. And the spirit is here. So just make sure you're recognizing your relationship and working through those obstacles to have um, that balance of connection and being able to communicate. Trust in the most high, you know, give your relationship and your, your what's to come for love for you to the most high. Okay. Just keep working on your soul. Keep working on yourself deeply. Look at the messages. Okay. Collective. That's what's going to ignite the perfect power for yourself maintain the proper openness okay and just allowing you to grow allowing you to grow all right so that is a beautiful little message here for the collective you know don't allow yourself to get um too wrapped up into things that's going to you know hurt you okay just lighten your load a little bit okay just put some balance into this into this week 
put some balance into this week, okay? Don't allow things, oops, to get to you, y'all. Excuse me. <laughs> I'm trying to do too much. Let me move this out of the way. Okay. Because I got to put all this stuff together, okay? All right. So let's see if we can get um, a message, like a little career read. Um, money read. What money read can we give to the collective today, spirit? What money read can we give to the collective this week, spirit? Okay, what is the deal with finances for the collective? Let's see. What what do we got for the collective when it comes to finances, spirit? All right. What advice for the collective do we have? How's everybody doing, y'all? Thank you guys for hanging out with me. If you're still here, I appreciate y'all, for real. <laughs> Make sure you guys are thumbs up, loving up the live. You hear me? Subscribe. Subscribe. I appreciate y'all. Let's see what message do we have for the collective. Career change, okay? So some people can be going through career changes. Some people could be getting into energy healing, gemstones. Spirit just wants you to know that you're on the right track, okay? So keep doing what you're doing because it's working. So people could be working with um, just crystals to get into alignment with their manifestation, you know, with their attraction. We're just learning about how things work together, okay? And in connection with things to, make, to maintain, you know, that you are on the right path spiritually, mentally, physically, and, you know getting into your powerhouse and getting into your power i feel a lot of people could be getting into entrepreneurship as well you have builder okay so your innate ability to build and create brings you a deep sense of accomplishment in writing so people are uh, really just focusing on what it is that's going to make them better get to the next step this week okay a lot of people could be writing you heal inspire teach and entertain with the words that you write so some people could be writing putting their content together really just you know getting their uh, production together just really taking themselves to the next um level this week or how to take themselves to the next um level this week is really going to be the vibe okay this energy is high i feel like a lot of preparation for the uh full moon um books okay you 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 connect with your life purpose through your involvement with books okay so yeah i feel like people could be writing on publishing um writing uh, building their empire thinking of different ways to have different streams of income Doing a lot of studying, reading, research, uh, research, education, helping you gain confidence and clarity about your career. You know, getting into the 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 you know the DIYs, getting into the entrepreneurship. Like, I'm loving this. You're on the right path. Your connection to crystals and gemstones is a channel for your energy healing. And you're building. Okay, you're building. You're writing. You're reading. You're studying. <laughs> You're figuring out ways on how you're figuring out ways on how you can get to the next level on your journey. I love this. How you can get better for your family. Most importantly, I feel like for most people, most importantly is how you're going to get it together for your family. Talk to your angels, my love. Instead of worrying, ask your divine, ask your angels for divine guidance. Okay, when it comes to your career. So you are on the right path. Trust, trust, trust that you are on the right path because you are, all right? Trust that you are, okay? What the messages? Let me see. Career, school. So yeah, a lot of you could be going to school to be able to get your heart's desires here. A lot of people studying, writing, going back to school, doing a lot of studying here, okay? Let's see what we can, any other messages? for the collective for career spirit divine spirit what message do we have for the collective divine spirit message do we have for the collective for career spirit for the week of 14th to the 20th all 
All right, thank you guys. What is this over here? So we have um, the King of Pentacles in the reverse. We also have the Four of Swords here and the Six of Pentacles. So I feel like, yeah, you you there there's not going to be hesitation this week. You're going to be doing a lot of things to bring balance, okay? Bring balance into building, into studying, to get you back into alignment with it when it comes to your finances, your relationships, when it comes to your betterment. So that way you can get into your King of Pentacles energy here. So a lot of you have been a lot, held back because of judgment or things of the past. And now you're putting energy into, you know, things that are going to bring you to the place of peace and manifesting that works best for you. But it's going to work out. You're on the right path. Talk to your angels, okay? Talk to, um, talk to Christ's spirit. You know, talk to your ancestors here. Do no longer being in confusion. You're going to be coming out of the state of confusion, okay? Um, what it is that you're looking to do and ha and get breaking free from other people's definitions of what it is that your life should look like, okay? That kept you st stuck in this two-way street. Like, you're coming out of that, okay? No longer being burdened by other people's opinions. You're going to focus on what it is that you need to focus on, okay? You're going to be working that out collected. This week is about you know, manifesting your ability to get to the financial um, place you want to be for yourself, you know, getting organized, okay, being studied, being on your shit, on your toes, making it happen, okay, period, point blank, no excuses, okay, no holding up, none of that, just truly being able to focus in um, believing in who you are, all right, collectives, if you've been here this long, y'all, go ahead and, um, like up this live, love up this live, uh, subscribe up this live, leave a comment up your zodiac sign. I'll see you all next time. Bye.